and welcome back to another edition of Women in Poker. And today we bring you the story of someone who truly understands the pulse of the domestic poker circuit. Eva Devi, a CRM specialist at MPL Poker. Let me bring her in. Hi Eva, firstly thank you for speaking with Poker Guru. Right off the bat I want to ask you how and when did you get introduced to poker and how has been your journey in the poker industry so far? So basically I'm from Manipur. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I've been Bangalore from since my college, and I studied nursing actually. So I was working oh. in different different healthcare sectors also. Yeah, in my during my internship, I wasn't working in a hospital, but then I didn't kind of like like the job that I was doing. Like as a nurse, I was it was not fitting me. I feel like you know I need to just do something more than this. So that was that's the reason why I switched my career. Okay. After that, I was working like. Uh, in a healthcare com- uh, insurance company it's a us based company united health group so during that time only i was looking for a change in my job you know to upgrade my job and everything so that's when i uh, i was suggested uh, to join the poker company by my friend back in 2000 i think end of 2017 she she was already a poker player you know playing like recreationally and she has been working oh. with poker industry like have you heard about poker ninja i think the company is already dissolved so yeah. poker ninja there was a company she was working there and then after that she was working with mop merova poker even merova poker where i first started my career mm-hmm. in, uh, as a po- in the poker industry so that was the company so that company also it's now unfortunately dissolved i think after one and a half year something so i started my career in poker industry from that company only as a customer happiness associate okay. so yeah back in 2017 and i remember so i was with mop for one year and a half after that by 2019 i was working with pocket 52 okay as a sales team lead there so my role was you know mostly like i was started my career as a customer service but then during those the role also i was still you know interacting with users you know how mm-hmm. you know i don't know nothing about poker like when i was giving my interview i was browsing like what is poker you know i know nothing like i don't know like in my family also like nobody plays poker and all but i know like you know how we all know like poker is a gambling you know like uncle and all used to play when they are retired and also that's how even i know poker i never knew that poker has a skill mm-hmm. you know all this mathematical you know aspects of the game Okay. So that's how. Then uh, and when once I got introduced to poker industry, like you know, I started like selling products, right? Like yes. CDs, for this tournament tickets, CDs, and all those. Those time we used to run this Sunday Blast CDs and MOP and all. So I will just you know mug up my pitch, you know, get the, you know deposit this much and get this ticket, and then you earn VIP points, and then you can redeem your deposit amount and all all those things. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't knew. I was. I my friends were like, there is no time to understand all these things in one day. Just start doing this. You know, so I just how I used to sell products and all like that. And that's how I became. I came like I was like interested. You know, in engaging with these customers. You know, poker players from different parts of the state. You know, like different levels. Like I've started with a basic, like a free roll level users. You know, how they have grown from a free roll to a user who is playing tournament. You know, like a small buy in and then grown up to. learn the game so like i have seen the journey of poker players basically so my journey have started with those users who are playing like the small stake to the high stake i've seen like people you know who have seen them playing uh, in small stake but right now they are doing very well and all so i've seen those journey for some players also so that is one experience that i have i think like i know i have a very deep knowledge about poker players since i've been working in this industry so then i used that my my expertise my knowledge then like to analyze players and then what products we can give and and to like poker player wants people to list like someone who can understand what they meant by the terms right so once i understand the terms once i learned the game after that i started learning game myself you know i started playing tournaments i used to play in other platforms like bazi spot and i have accounts in every platform like you know i used to start playing you know like free rolls and then i'm mostly into tournament actually so i used to play and then i've won a few games also so like that uh, i started you know approaching the game in the right way like you know how the game i started reading like books i used to download this pdf and all. so so that's how my journey started 
and then me as a, like you know i wanted to become a poker player myself you know eva you should have something you know even right now you're working in poker industry so you like you know everything so it's very easy for you to play but i know the down part of it also na no? it's not easy to win money all the time you know you cannot take it for granted even 1000 rupees so 100 rupees matters and the stress that you get when you lose the tilt so i know i've seen everything right so i feel like you know even you are not ready and you are not that skill enough you should not invest your money and time and play you know it's not fun it's a serious game so that's what i've learned and then now i i don't have much time to play and all like you know so like i am taking like a break or not but i don't play professionally at all i don't think i will go in that field also <laughs> and right now uh, in mpl i'm working as a crm specialist and uh, i've recently completed one year in mpl in september month i've recently completed my one year and in mpl yeah so i like my role as a crm specialist is to ensure that the users are receiving like a maximum benefits from our platform to give a one on one you know communications to listen to them and to you know just to be like a the bridge between the company and the you know the products like the user mac me like we are giving so much products we are giving so much uh, promotions and the giveaways everything but the users should know how to utilize it right the benefits that, that that we are giving to them and also the feedback parts you know if there is any issues anything so like we are there to assist them one on one so yeah so the, that is my role currently in mpl right now so yeah so like one on one session one on one interaction with the users you know giving them uh, like and uh, getting feedbacks from the user help in the company you know increase their revenue like giving uh, i give new promotion ideas you know like work the, as a person who is directly in touch with the customer we know what the user wants right as a poker player what are the what are the promotions what are the benefits that they are expecting not only the money that we are giving but what are the service like you know not the just to ensure that they are having the best gaming experience that is the only uh, key uh, focus that i always have you know to ensure that they are having the like they play in every platform right users they can play in any platform you know there is it's an ecosystem we don't uh, you know restrict them like you should only play in mpl you know should be only in mpl play it's not that uh, thing but when you are coming to mpl why you should play in mpl so that that is what uh, we are our main focus is so you know mpl poker has been an absolute beast everyone is going to agree that it's growing at an exponential rate um yeah. i want to know like what is the future of the uh, can you tell us more about the future growth and also maybe the vision of the brand yeah. and uh, actually what can players expect uh from mpl poker in the future because right now you've just started with tournaments um yeah. you know you are doing a lot of new new things so what can the players expect from the brand in the future um yeah in the future also mpl will be still continuing like to invest more on poker like and also build new products for and also introduce new game formats you know like recently we had la- launched uh, set and go tables Yeah. so we'll be like and also we are launching desktop app soon okay. so yeah so i think in the coming future you'll be seeing a lot in poker actually like there will be lots of like investment in poker happening so yeah even i'm also waiting for the desktop app to launch you know because there are lots of player who like eva just bring the desktop and then you tell me we'll come we'll be there you know when we were reaching out during those promotions and all so yeah even we are excited like waiting for the text of app to launch and also like yeah as i mentioned like there will be lots you will be seeing lots of good products like you know new game formats coming like you know we will be adding new games related right. to cards poker everything in the coming future amazing so i'm sure players are looking forward to that um going to sort of an opposite direction um unresolved issues in poker are a very huge setback that almost every platform in india is facing you know yeah. everyone there are a lot of complaints there are a lot of uh, player uh, issues that you know people talk on um, ma- on multiple facebook groups and platforms like such so uh, can you tell me as someone who interacts with players on uh, probably a daily basis uh, mm-hmm. can you tell me like give me some insight about how mpl deals with player grievances yeah so mpl uh, 
we have like customer support team like you know who handles through chats emails we have our separate social media team in every uh, like platforms like instagram facebook right so in that way we like everywhere we are making sure that we users are easily you know accessible to us you know user can just you know go to the mpl poker page and then you we can directly uh, reach out and also we have our community manager especially we have just uh, we had uh, monica dia's account who is handling uh, the community related uh, users related queries everything and even we like you know as a crm we are like special uh, especially there for the users to like you know who are highly valued customers in our platform to give them one on one sessions so there is i think and also to make sure that we are resolving the users query before the that the turn before the turnaround time and uh, yeah and also like to listen more to the users like like obviously there are different types of there are like two types or two three types of queries right just like some queries are actual queries and there are some perception queries you know user might say like okay i am losing this this card is not good you know i we cannot do much in such queries right those are all perception based queries but those are actual queries related you know related to your withdrawal issues deposit issues sign up otp issues all those things we make sure that we are handling the queries uh, before the time amazing okay yeah. great so uh, i want to know a bit more about you you know what are your uh, i mean since when have you been working with mbl poker firstly and also um, what if what are some of your most memorable experience uh, of working in poker okay so <laughs> with mpl i joined mpl in month of uh, like last year september okay 2021 september i joined mpl so i recently completed one year hmm. and uh, yeah this is a like a very good team I, i i feel like this is the one of the best poker industry that uh, you know that i'm working with i feel like mpl is one of the best that i've worked in, in my experience you know like the team is very like driven you know like it just make you like come to office and then like you know everyone is like so driven and then working and then so nice so i feel like it's a very positive vibe coming into mpl office and working so i feel more motivated you know to do my job and then you know to bring my thoughts and ideas out you know everything what what would you say your um, observations are since working in the poker industry like if i were to ask you um, one thing that you like about the poker industry and one thing that you dislike one thing that i like about the poker industry i think is the the openness i think like the free thoughts like a space that you get like you know as a free space Hmm. to work like you know like the you know when you work deal with poker players you know like some players like let's say like you are experiencing like everything new every day you know you are not talking to a different like you know to a same set of customers right there are like different different types of people you know in terms of their personalities and characters and also like mostly like male like you know i have interacted very few female uh, players and also i have interacted mostly with male female players and i have seen friends also who are playing poker so i feel like this industry is like very to like open and then yet like you know what to say like a welcoming uh, place you know no one is there to judge you you have to just uh, do your best and just forget about the you know surroundings i think you can just focus on yourself and then work so you know i want to ask you like being a woman in the poker industry you you did mm-hmm. mention that there are not a lot of female players um, yeah. you've interacted with and uh, yes i would agree that you know the amount of female players compared to males are there's a lot of gap yeah. um, yeah. so i want to ask you like what do you think is needed to encourage more women to join uh, poker you know to become a part of the industry seeing that poker has been such a male dominated field till now uh i feel like women should like normalize it like you know just sit like don't feel like you know okay like example let's like even now right now it's easier because we have online games but let's say if you're playing in a like casino or a, or a you know a live club or everything anything like we 
don't normalize ourselves sitting you know in a table there are let's say like nine six males and then one single female sitting at a table so like sometimes i feel like we should just normalize and you know and use your skills like you know women and sometimes i feel like women are also mostly like busy in life compared to some men men like women are mostly like do household things you know you have to like categorize your life like your day you know like one you you'll be cooking you'll have to you know manage your day your office work so like women take more responsibility in household activities also i feel like that than compared to men uh, so i feel like women just like take that back seat and then sacrifice that okay but maybe if they are interested also if they are really interested then i think they can just come out and not take it as a big deal like you know this is poker and then it, everything every game has a uh like you need to just be skilled so you know since you've worked in uh, the nursing sector as well um i want to ask you how different do you think uh, is working in poker than in the other fields oh my god it's like uh you know it's totally like a different world actually totally totally different world like like in nursing uh see you have to deal with like but the inner uh, the self thing inside is the same for me like to be there to be there to listen you know in hospital also it's like that to to be a caregiver right as a nurse you know like not only it's about administering uh, administering the medications prescribed it's about you know listening to the player uh, the, sorry listening to the you uh, the patients knowing their problems giving them psychological support you know understanding their needs so in that way like but the their the the clients are different like they are not dealing with any poker games or anything i mean not the game this dealing with a life uh, or you know living or dead moments so it's very emotional also at times you know when you see you know like when you come go there uh, you feel like you know life is very uh, you know short and then you know it's a very meaningful life you know you are like you know you should be like you feel that way when you work at hospital it's a different but again yeah in poker also same likewise like um, even poker players also you know like right now right now in this stage i have even i have like more like calmness everything has come to me but in during the starting in my career even you know i used to feel like oh yeah this much stress in this work you know listening to so many problems which is not always in my control you know but then one thing i have already i already realized right now is that just patience in me you know and not take it personally like when they are giving you all those problems and all they are not telling about me personally they are talking about the company that so in that i am just trying to like absorb things and then like be patient and sometimes there is no solution they know also they just want someone and when they know okay this is because of mpl and oh who i know from mpl eva okay let's call eva and then talk to her and tell all this thing so sometimes they need someone to listen also so like and then understand and then you know take it in a positive way and like take it as a feedback as a constructive feedback you know so i think poker players need that also like you know and nobody has that much time to talk like you know people are playing for longer hours and then they'll sleep and you, know, you have to see their schedule also you cannot just call and talk early you know morning when you start your day nerve and o'clock no one is going to pick your call if you need to at least talk to them also for any uh, like you know reason so like yeah knowing some people you know if when i'm interacting with one user when i know that i'm going to i i make sure that i know his schedule you know when do you uh, you know how do you play do you play during the day time or like night time and then okay then you sleep so when would be the convenient time when i can call you you know then i just keep a note of all those things that how you learn more about the So I want to ask you like what are your aspirations you know poker wise and even your career wise Yeah my aspiration like in this coming years I see myself like continuing in the gaming industry only because now like you know even though if I want to switch also right like people from industry only like knows me right so it's like kind of like a um, a journey for me but right now i want to focus more on the business side and the customer uh, management relationship management side as well 
so yeah in i will be like focusing in the same field only like yeah great well that's it for my questions thank you so much eva for joining me to all the viewers out there do keep following poker guru for more such interesting and insightful interviews Thank you.